No. <laughs> Hello and good morning and welcome to Space Engineers, where we are going to take a little look at what's coming in LVTS X. Because Cosmet is, as always, quite busy doing stuff, and the latest thing he has been working on is something called a damage absorber. Yeah, so, um. Uh, hello. Aren't you a gorgeous looking thing? Yeah. Right, so before we fire it up and have some fun, let's do the boring thing. And let's see here. Um, as far as I can tell, it's a T6, but it does require legendarium, so you have to do a lot of work to get it. So that means that you need one of these bad boys. Uh, the reproduction line, yes. And also, I think you need the scrapper for it. Yeah. Yes, you do. You need a scrapper. Let's just place that down. Um, there. Okay. Uh, I guess that's wrong. Where's the... There. Okay. So, that will... Uh, let's just go back to that. Uh, where you can scrap rare and legendary components and you got get lost tech components. So, yeah, okay, and it's manual access, that's fair enough. So, and that's tier 7, so it's, okay, the, I'll have to change here, it's a T7 block. And that's very nice, because one of the things I really wanted for LVTSX, uh, which I know that Cosmet also has been working on, is kind of super late game stuff. So yeah, okay. Uh, description, yeah. So, reduces damage done to the grid by 80%. That's cool. 50% of original damage will be done to the absorber. So, if I do 100 points of damage, the grid will get 20. And 15 points of damage will be done to the absorber itself. For multiples, if you have several of these bad boys, and I guess people want to have as many of these as possible, I believe, or at least a fair few, uh, a damage, hmm, a damage, that's probably my typo, sorry, sorry, damage is assigned randomly between them. Power up kit, 25 megawatts, and add ignore grind to stop grinding, damaging the absorber. Fair enough, I haven't done that here, so we'll see how we can damage it using just our little trusty grinder. Oh yeah! Okay, uh, component, uh, or cost-wise, <coughs> it's fairly on the expensive side. I think it also uses... It doesn't use rarium? No. And not mythium? So there's two things, two uh, ores in the game it does not need. Save for that, this has everything. And you need them in fairly large quantities, which just makes sense, I guess, for something as, um, as powerful as this. All right, then. So currently this one is at full health and here we can just see the component call uh, the different components lots of t5 stuff Legendary motors that's tier 6 or 7. So yeah, and you need zone chips for this Which is a really cool idea. I really like it uh, Because that means that you actually have to do some trading and buy some zone chips and then implement those to get this. Uh, I think that's, again, uh, as I'm kind of used to from Cosmet, it's a very elegant idea. Yeah. Also, before we do anything, let's do cosmetic. It kind of blends into the blocks very nicely. I like that. Yeah. Uh, will it blend better with a heavy block? Let's find... I don't have... Ah, there's the other block. Meh. 
looking pretty much the same. But that's cool. I can so pick, and you can, I believe, let's see, go here. Yep, walk around it. So you could make something like, if I make just a passage here, there, there, and then you can have it here and just walk. Oh yeah, and have it as a central piece in your ship, for instance, which is, you want to have this somewhere very, very defended. But that's looking awesome, though. I really like it. All right, let's fire up. Oh, oh, that sound, that light. Ooh, it's spinning. I didn't notice that before. Wow, nice. Awesome. Wow. I can't see it from here. Can you color the emissive? Let's check. Yes, I know. This isn't technically super important, but sue me. No, you can't. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so here... Max required input 25, so it's training 25. It is, I think, a refinery, I believe. I don't know. A refinery or reactor, who knows? It doesn't matter, actually. Anyway, so that's active. Let's grab a gun and let's double check 100%. Yes. And this is a light armor block. And if we have one here, let's see, how many shots to kill it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Ah. Quite a lot, okay. Never mind, uh, I, yeah, my science kind of sucks there. Uh, we'll deal with it with the Gatling, I believe. Okay, but let's take this. I don't like this. I've done a lot more damage now. Several magazines later. Okay, and let's see here. That's down by what? By ten steel plates, so it's it's damaged, but it's nowhere near as damaged as it would have been without this thing running. Okay, so let's repair this up and let's go take a look here. Ninety-nine percent. So it's not much, but you can see it's actually working. And that's why I placed this welder here. Now, in creative, this is obviously completely brokenly uh, OP. Mm. Let's see here. It has absorption cells. Oh! Absorption cells in the top. Now, what are those? Can I make them? No. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing... That's interesting. I have no idea how this works. I can't make anything? No. So it's definitely a refinery or something like that. Hmm. Oh no, there we go. Absorption cells. Ah, okay. So... Iron, silicon, nickel, and legendarium. Okay, so that means Mars, I believe. Yeah, you have to travel out. You have to put yourself in a lot of danger to get this going. Okay, and then the metal plates. So, how will this? If we grind it down and get rid of the absorption cells, it can work without the absorption cells. Ow. 
Okay, so you can actually just keep it running using only metal plates. That's good to know. So if we go over here, okay, it's at 78%. Yep. Okay, and empty a couple of magazines. There. One magazine. Two magazines. And three magazines. How's it that going? Okay, got rid of some metal plates only. Okay. There. Ooh, takes a long time to weld. A stupid long time. And this is a T5 welder, by the way. Whew. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Um, I mean, let's... Also, I, yeah, the grinding thing. Whoa. That's an awesome sound. Okay, and yeah, it took damage. So, if I go with the, let's see, naming convention here. There, uh, ignore, grind. If I could write, that would be awesome. There. Yeah. And nothing. Glorious. Okay, let's give it a little more damage. And you can hear it going off. Yeah. And I mean, this is... This is a T3 Gatling versus... I think it's light armor. Let's double check. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, almost killed it, but still... Let's see. There. There you see, it just obliterates it here. No. So yeah, that's... LBTS just got a lot more fun. And that's from someone that really loves LBTS. Hello, Rostrator, are you friendly? Yeah, well, I don't know. Anyway, that is going to be it for me for now. Um, Captain Cosmet, you continue to impress. That thing there is amazing and I love the, uh, the ID behind it. Just so good. Wow. All right, guys, that has been it for me for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one and keep on engineering. Bye, guys. See you on Exodus.